back to Good Things Utah, one thing that we all need to think about as women, as men, as everybody, strokes. Strokes actually have 700,000 people suffer a stroke each year. Hmm. My dad has had two. He's in a nursing home. I guess it can run in family. So we want to talk to our doctor here, Dr. Jennifer Majersik, who is with the University of Utah. You are a stroke neurologist. And I think the first thing is, tell us what the signs of stroke are. Because if you see someone, do you think they're having just a headache? What is it? Right. I'm really glad you asked because okay. the number one thing to know is how to recognize it mm -hmm. so then we can do something about it. So there's a lot of different signs and symptoms of stroke. For the general public, we try to focus on three. Mm -hmm. So I like the mnemonic FAST, which goes for face, arm, speech, and time. So face, if somebody's having a stroke, you look at their face and see if one side is drooping or not. Ask them to smile. Mm -hmm. When you smile, normally both corners go up at the same time. If one corner doesn't, that could be a sign of stroke. Mm -hmm. You look at their arms. You ask them to raise their arms. If one doesn't go, one can't raise up. That also could be a sign of okay. stroke. And then the S in FAST is for speech, which is, can they understand speech? When you speak to them, mm -hmm. do they understand what you're mm -hmm. saying? If you ask them to do something, can they do it? And when they make speech, is it sensible? Do they use real words or are they slurred words? So you can ask them to repeat something, some, whatever you think of, you know, I want eggs for breakfast or whatever it is, and then see, can they say that back to you? Face, arm, speech. That's very right. interesting. And then time means that time is super important. You have to call 911 mm -hmm. if any one of these is off. So that's why we use that mnemonic. Do you feel sick? No. You don't? Right. You, some people do. Some people will tell me I knew something was wrong. Most people don't. They just mm. say, um, I, I was walking and then my leg got heavy. I couldn't walk as well or something simple along those lines. And it's not just older people. Younger people have right. strokes as well. Moms have strokes. Young women have strokes. Right. People from childhood to, you know, in their 90s or older can have strokes. Um, Joan London was on our show last week and she was talking about it because she was here speaking in town at a, at a stroke prevention event. And I thought it was interesting. She said, for the most part, women, we're the ones that blow it off right. more than men. That we say, oh, I got to get through my day. I've got to do carpool. I have, I'll check it later. And tell us why time is so important. Right. So you. So it's exactly right. A lot of people will say, "I took. I'll just take a nap, or I'll do something mm -hmm. else, or it'll get better." But it doesn't get better. And if you recognize it fast and can get to the emergency department, hopefully via an ambulance quickly, there's actually medicine we can give. I, so tell us about that yeah. because I know that in my dad's case, that was one of the most important things is to have a helicopter, an ambulance, get them there. Right. So what is the time period you have to have that medication in? So generally three hours. So wow. it's mm. which is really fast. And Utah is a big state. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of big distances you have to travel. Salt Lake is nice and small, but the surrounding areas, you have to go a long way. So you have to call 911 right away, get to the hospital, and then people like myself all over the state, we evaluate for um, whether this medicine can be given or not. And hopefully it can, mm -hmm. but that's the whole thing. You have to get there quick, otherwise we can't even figure it out. Okay, you talked about the signs and the symptoms. Let's talk mm -hmm. about prevention. She mentioned right. something that totally struck me last week. She said, Put your salt shaker away. And mine is right in the center of the table. Big, right? And I don't want to eat before I salt, you know? And right. she said, stop using it. So the number one thing you can do to prevent strokes is to treat your blood pressure. So every woman should mm -hmm. know her blood pressure. Every man should know his blood pressure. Mm -hmm. My nurse likes to say, you know your bra size, you should know your blood pressure. That's, it's a, it's yeah. a personal thing. And I don't thing. know. Right. Like, I have no idea. Know your phone number, know your, know your blood pressure. That's right. That's so when you important. go to the doctor, the nurse takes your blood pressure, mm -hmm. they often just say, okay, now you can go yeah. in. Say, no, no, what was it? And then you write it down. Or you can get a blood pressure cuff at home and take it at home. I think there's an app for it, too, that you can oh, is keep, there? keep on your iPhone. Yeah, with all of your Probably. medical records, which I think are great. There's two different kinds of stroke. Right. So Tell there's the kind that is the non-bleeding kind where an artery clots off mm -hmm. and then the rest of the brain doesn't get enough blood and so it dies. Mm -hmm. And then there's the bleeding kind where the artery opens and it has too much blood. Wow. So. Well, Dr. Jennifer Maj Majersik, yes. I want to say it right. You're you so sweet fine. to be with us this morning. She's at the University of Utah Healthcare, healthcare.utah.edu. Much more on strokes, stroke prevention, and what you need to know all on our website. Well, and I love that you say start today. It's not right. too late. Start being healthier today. That Now's the time. Mm -hmm. We own our own bodies, so we're in charge, mm -hmm. and we can make sure that we prevent these bad things from happening. We learned a lot today. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Up next, everybody, our mommy makeover winners. We'll be right back.